You know, I've been trying to, uh, to get to, like, 30-minute episodes as opposed to, like, hour-long episodes, um, recently. But the caves in Pikmin 2 are just not paced in a way, at least late game. They're not really paced in a way, pace he did paced, whatever, in a way where I can really, you know, do 30-minute episodes. They always end up being, like, 50. Anyway. Hello there, people who have accessed the internet and who are currently using it to watch this video. My name is Pun Food, or just Pun if you prefer, and we're going to escape to the surface with the Pikmin. Alright. Alright. How many did we lose? Six. Kinda sucks. But we completed the cave, and... We will be spat out near base. No time has elapsed because it's Pikmin 2 caves and not Pikmin 4. And now we have to figure out... Um, unfortunately, there's no more debt to pay. Well, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you look at it. There's no more debt to pay off. So, that's something. We now have 57, which actually isn't too many more than we had going in. Um... Or not as much as you'd expect. So, let's put everyone back for now. And I just want to look at our numbers really quick. Because I don't know if that the next cave really has anything. Yeah, we're lacking on yellow a bit. Um, the next cave has every hazard. So, let's start with the obvious. We're going to want only 10 white. 15 white and maybe 10 purple I'd love to take more but any more and I'd risk too much I think um yellow pikmin the standard I think should be 30 for caves just because you never know blue pikmin also take out 30 that leaves us with just enough room to add a few red Pikmin for the sake of sacrifice. Um. Although. Maybe I put away five whites and take ten more red? No, we'll, we'll roll with this. Um. Alright. So. Now. We have to go all the way to the other side of the map. Our purple Pikmin coming. Okay. Uh... I think... Um, 10 purple is a good amount. Purely because, um... Again, the whole we would risk too much bringing any more. Um... 15 white's good, because it gives them enough to be useful for poison hazards, and also enough to dig up treasures and make things move faster. Although, white Pikmin are... Oh, did the fire guy respond? Yeah, okay. Um, white Pikmin aren't as useful in this game compared to other games because there's no time limit in caves at all. And they, um... What do I want to say? They, uh, don't... Um... Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, and White Pikmin, um, there's no pressure to go fast in this game. So, like, White Pikmin's speed isn't as good as other games where they appear. Um, but, you know. So, you know. But having 15 is good just in case I'm, you know only reason their speed is good is because I'd like to try and finish this episode in 45 minutes. I mean, like, no more than 45 minutes. That's a doodle bug. Um, it's like a flint beetle, but it will spew poisonous gas. Okay. We're finally getting the cutscene to show us that, uh, a Pikmin is suffocating. I guess would be how you would phrase that. Okay, so Doodle Bug is like a uh, flint beetle in that it gives you rewards for landing on its back. Um, in this case, it gives us two bitter spray. 
Um, nothing over here. Nothing over here. That looks like a whole deal. This cave is like... Uh, this sub-level is like my least favorite. Aside from the boss. Because the boss of this cave actually sucks. In my opinion. Alright. Nobody died. Hooray. That's like about as good as you can get in this cave. In these later game caves. With dealing with those guys. Okay. There was like no point to coming over here. Except to take him out for peace of mind, I guess. No one's trapped over there. Okay, good. Now! Uh, killing them, I think, would alert him. Oh my god, no! No, 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 no! He just ate Pikmin. Oh my god. Doodlebug is stupid. Okay. Okay. What are we missing? He only ate three blue. Which, like... Blue are the only Pikmin that can move in water, so as long as nothing required 30 blue Pikmin, we're good. But, like, oh my god. It's just so stupid. The doodle bug caused everything to go wrong. Doodle bugs, plural, there are two of them. Okay. So. Got some white Pikmin digging up something. Can we get other Pikmin on it? Okay, cool. Um, anything back here? Another buried treasure. And that's another reason why I brought 15 white as opposed to like six or seven. It's mainly because uh, this cave I remember having a lot of just instances of treasure for white Pikmin. I'm glad they got rid of white Pikmin's ability to see underground um, and made it in every Pikmin thing. Anyway, Essence of Rage. Okay. Um, also, it's really only a couple of floors in this cave that are Christmas themed, not like all of them. And it's only because of that like one ornament and the fact that there's, you know, snow. I don't know. Honestly, losing only blue Pikmin is probably the best you could ask for. I think losing yellow would have been more optimal because you only need yellow for high up things and electricity, which is really good in Pikmin too. But like, it's not the same as like, if you lose blue Pikmin and there's something that's in the water, you can't get it, you know? What's going on? Okay. That's the end of the sub-level, so let's go to sub-level two. Um, eight minutes into the episode, and we're only on sub-level two. Granted, we had the walking time, but I believe this is, again, like a nine or... It might be a seven sub-level cave. But it only... Oh, it's this floor. This floor, I'm pretty sure, has... Um, cannon. Cannon larva. Where they are, I can't remember. If they're even on this floor. Oh, there it is. Okay. Well. Welcome to my new favorite game. Is it new or my favorite? I don't know. Kill whatever we can by using the enemies against each other. Okay. Um. Okay. There we go. Can you, uh... Oh, wow. This is actually... And then I can just, uh... Take you out with a couple, uh... A couple of punches, huh? Okay. So... 
there's there's like no point to play through this uh, cave like as intended at all. Oh wow, got lucky I guess. Um, or maybe that is how they intended. I don't know, but in that cave sub level, this just this sub level really. Um, okay, let's grab everyone and. Uh, Let's put some people on cleanup duty. Um, let's, uh, have some of you guys carry some of this stuff. Um, alright. Let's send you over there. Let's head back to the beginning. Um, grab all you so you can uh, help some of these things. I'm pretty sure there's a treasure up there. So we'll of course want to take... We're gonna need white Pikmin. Um, pretty narrow. Um, I'm pretty sure there's something up there. Uh, okay. Come on. I'm pr I'm 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 pretty sure there's something up here. If there isn't, I mean, then that's joy receptacle. Then that's uh. No, I guess not. Okay. Well then, uh, let's head over this way and uh, hope there's nothing in the corners. Ooh, spooky. We're just waiting on the last bits of treasure to come. Come in. It's a boot. Um. It's an icon of progress. I guess so. Anyway, that's the sub level. On to sub level three. We're making pretty good time. Only like four minutes per sub level. You know, could be worse. And that was actually a pretty lucky layout for that sub level, in my opinion. All right, sub level three. This is this is the painful one. This is the one with the bull bear. It, it's right there. Okay. So, let's not go over there first thing. Let's instead open up this shortcut here. Um, we're gonna have to figure out how we want to deal with that bull bear. Um. So, there's definitely a buried treasure. Oh, thank God it was an egg. Definitely a buried treasure here. Okay. Uh, drop it. Drop it. Drop whatever you're doing. He can see us through walls. He sees us when we're sleeping. He knows when we're awake. He knows when we've been bad or good. So good for goodness sake. You better watch out. Better not cry. Better not pout. I'm telling you. Okay. We got some bold men. Come on, guys. Come on. I mean, that's entirely my fault, but still, come on, guys. Come on. Oh my god. The bull bear is just kind of here. Okay. So we got some bold men, which kind of good. You know, can't complain, I guess. That's how I would put it. Um, I mean, you can, but it's probably not very smart life advice, I guess. To complain. Okay. We, we, we aren't safe in our own home. Uh, that bull bear is coming for us. What did we get? We got the... 
leading art form. I doubt you can outrun that bull bear. You can't go that way. That way is electricity. Um. Okay. Why are we only losing blue Pikmin? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Could you stop following us, please? Like, pretty please? Oh my god. That's the thing. This game isn't smart like other Pikmin games where it makes sure you're only throwing the Pikmin you have selected. We just lost a purple. Unbelievable. We can't even sneak up on this guy. This is so stupid. Utterly ridiculous. Uh, he sees us. He totally sees us. We're going to... Uh, how did they get on the other side of the wall? Oh my god. Somebody kill him. Thank you. Okay. I mean, we just have to get the treasures and get out, so... Green gem star. Oh, and he has one. That's right. I forgot. I so badly want to reset this sub-level. Oh, I can't even take care of the electricity, can I? Okay. Uh, let's run over here. Like, we just got three Bullmen, and we basically have already lost, like, a good chunk of Pikmin. It is deeply upsetting to me. That, uh, and we have to kill that bull bear, too. Maybe if we all stay back in this corner, he won't notice us. Oh, he noticed us. Okay. Um, purple Pikmin. Can I bait you into lunging for some of my Pikmin to eat? And then hopefully stun you? 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 Oh my god. That was way too stressful. And the bull bear will revive if we don't take care of him. Was it worth? Was it worth it? Um, no. I'll say that much. No. Uh, it's losing a purple really sucks. Um, we do need to convert some of our. Uh, we'll definitely convert the three boldmen. Um, to white Pikmin. But what else do we want to convert slash sacrifice? Well, we have a lot of yellow, so sacrificing two wouldn't be bad for more white, I guess. Alright. Um. Okay. Let's do that. Sub-level's done, so we can just leave. Okay. Plucking whistle's great. Um. Okay. There is nectar back there, but I just want to leave. Looking at our numbers, um, 
through those yells or sacrifices, but we lost four blue, one red, one purple. Not really the numbers you kind of want to lose, you know? Well, the red was fine, but like... Uh, hopefully nothing requires more than like 25 blues, you know? Anyway, that was my least favorite sub-level in the cave, I think, from memory. There might be one that's worse, aside from the boss. I think the boss of this cave is really horrible. Anyway, Frontier Cave, sub-level 4. Uh, oh yeah, this sub-level. Sub-level kind of sucks. Again with the... Why can't I just... If I select yellow Pikmin... Why can't I throw yellow Pikmin when I select yellow Pikmin? Oh my god. Okay. I'll throw in one yellow and four red. Okay. There we go. So now we have ten red and like... Ugh. Why did I lose so many to electricity? Okay. 27 yellow, 10 red, 25 blue, 20 right, 14 purple, whatever. This... This cave sucks. I'm already having a bad day. Like, if... And that's... That isn't... That's like what the game is the most unfair. It's the most unfair when you think you're throwing one type of Pikmin, and then the game is like, oh, no, only one of those Pikmin is actually in your hand and able to be thrown. You know? It's like, the game wants you to play super slow with the fact that, like, again, it literally wants to, you to, like, make sure you pause. You can't just switch to whatever Pikmin you want to throw. You have to pause to make sure... Okay, please just knock it over. Oh my god. You have to be sure. Am I really throwing yellow? Am I going to be able to just throw all my yellows at it as opposed to needing some other Pikmin? You know? That's the question. It's the question we all have to ask ourselves at some point in our lives. You know? Oh, hi, bumbling snitch bug. Hi, more anode beetles. Okay. There's another bumbling snitch bug. Thank god there weren't matites or something worse than that egg. What's in this back corner? It's a bomb! Okay. Bomb rock avoided? Sort of? Definitely. Can you, uh... Can you please play fair? Okay, thank you. Um... Let's not have you carry that for now. Let's have... Get our bitter spray. We'll do clean up in a minute. Okay, it seems like... Let's also have you take care of that, because... For some reason, those electric gates are just... I'm not even trying to, like, walk through them or anything of this sort. Every alcove in this cave has a bomb, I guess. Uh... Or maybe an egg, but, you know. I don't trust this room. This room looks far too big to be a trustworthy space. Um... Can you, can you get down here? Get down here. No, you guys, you guys stay. I only need the other guy to really get down here. You guys can also stay. Can you let, let, let me go? Uh, why are you flying out of range? I literally cannot hit you. 
Oh my god. The other thing is, like, I don't feel like I can hit flying enemies too well in frantic situations in this game. Oh, here's another Christmas themed thing. To, uh. I'm pretty sure we've seen the worst of it, so we might as well just, uh. Do a whole bunch of this. Start taking back what we can. Oh, luckily it was an egg. Good for us. Uh. Let's have some of you take that. Some of you can 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 take that. Alright. Well, all the treasures are getting back at least. This is only like sub level four, right? Oh my god. Innocence lost. Okay. okay. Let's just send a whole bunch of guys to do everything. And uh we'll get the stuff back eventually. For now, let's head to the exit. Alright. Should be... We haven't gotten any spicy sprays from uh, eggs or enemies or whatever in a while. Anyway. Omniscient Sphere. Okay. Cool. Let's get out of here. Before we lose anyone else. Delve deeper with your Pikmin. Alright. Uh, what? What else? I'm hoping it's only seven or six. We're, we're lucky if it's six, but... Rest area, so maybe it's eight. Recommends blue. I think we have enough blue. What do we want to put in the old... We might need the blue, so let's just do pure yellow. Okay. Yeah, we'll take more purples whenever we can. They're gonna be great for uh, just dealing damage. And now we have 20 purple. Um, and the ivory one, I don't know if we can afford to sacrifice blue. There might be something that requires 25. But, I'm willing to do two yellow and then the rest can be red. We have, like, no red now, but who really cares, honestly? Reds were brought along to be sacrificed. Um, if we're given the opportunity to make more Pikmin by a Queen Candy Pop Bud, I guess I'll make them red from a red. Oh, right. Um, this guy can flower your Pikmin, um, if you let him. But, uh... I don't know if you want to do that. Um, you kind of just want to take down. I specifically am aiming for that red, those red ones. Um, um, let's take down the Hydra Dweeble too, because I believe the red ones are the ones that drop um, spicy spray, because the yellow ones drop uh, nectar. You know, the red ones drop, the orange ones drop, uh, spicy spray. Did I not take you out? Did I not already take you out? There we go. Have fun. Okay. Let's have you just take that. Okay. So, uh, everything's going well, I guess. Um, I don't see any Queen Candy Pop Buds. There's an escape if we want it. 
What's in here? Not my tights. Okay. And tears. We managed to get one spicy. Um. Let's, uh. Do our best to make sure everyone is, uh, bloomed. Okay. Well, then, uh, I guess we can just get everyone on these last two treasures. Or, well, it's only the one treasure, really. I was hoping for Queen Candy Pop, but it's whatever. We will now... This is the case... This is the, um... One case of an upgrade item not on a boss floor. Um, and this is the Brute Knuckles, which unlocks um, our triple punch. Our combo. You know, rocket fist, whatever. Triple Punch is honestly, I think, a better name. Like, Rocket Fist sounds cool, but if a name, but like, it's misleading because it's like, oh, I can launch my fist? No, it's just a Triple Punch, you know? Like, I personally prefer it when names are at least accurate, you know? As opposed to, like, just to sound cool, you know? I like Triple Punch. It still sounds kind of cool, you know? Like, Triple the Punch, you know? Or whatever. Really? Right here? At my base? Oh, we're not even safe. Because the stupid boulder... ...is gonna come here and squish all our Pikmin. Wow. Okay. Nope! Okay. No, no, no! Up. I... What is this? I... What is this? Why? Uh, I... Look, I'm gonna be back... When I reset the floor... Well, we spawn right by the exit now. That's something. Okay, we can get four bold men. I'm just gonna leave them all here. Never mind. They're coming for us, so... Just gonna take purple. Because I don't want to accidentally select another Pikmin type during combat when I don't want to. Oh, it took out the fire geyser for us. How thoughtful. Or something. Hopefully there's another candy pop bud that I can get rid of those bold men at. Um, let's have you launch a boulder over here to kill the water dump hole. Then, let's have you launch a boulder over here to kill that water dump hole. Then I guess, uh, those boulders, can they please, uh, hurry up and kill that water dump hole? Then you might as well just, you know, shoot boulders at each other. Okay. Gotcha. Um... You, I think, are in the best position to help me just kind of lure boulders towards people. Okay. You die, please. Thank you. Um. I can take out a water dumple. At least they're in slightly better spots this time, but like, come on. Come on, come on. Taking damage just by the thing jumping. Okay. I can't damage that thing. Um. I would like it if you would please, uh. You're probably in the worst position to lure your own boulder at. 
but of course, of course you have to shoot a boulder directly into your boulder. Can you not? I'm trying to make you hit yourself here. Screw it, I now have my rocket fist or whatever, so I can actually deal sizable damage to you through melee. Alright. Come on, I'm just gonna take you out. I'm not risking any Pikmin on this sub level. Especially not when I know what awaits me below. I mean, this isn't a bad strategy. Anything that's not a boss, you can kind of just take out on your own. Or like, I guess, a Emperor Bullblax. Because the Emperor Bullblax, um... Just isn't very cooperative. Anyway. Cleanup time. I didn't see any candy pop buds. I don't know that they're even displayed on the map, but, you know, didn't see any. Okay. Let's have some of the Pikmin do that. Some of you can take care of that. Let's have Blue Pikmin take care of that. Like, anyone but Blue take care of the other chest piece. Alright, that's 80, which is priceless statue. Okay. Let's have red and yellow take it. Um, it's fine. It's all fine. Um, everything else is blue. Is there anything aside from that uh statue? Not really seeing anything, so if there is, it's non existent. Anyway, let's have them carry it in. Hopefully, the last floor is the last, or next floor is the last floor. Of course, the last floor is the last floor. Anyway, worthless statue. Okay. Is that like in relation to the king and queen? Like, the queen is the most, you know potent offensive piece but the king basically you know not worth anything to like use in combat you know only so nope not the last floor right we have the orange bull bear floor okay luckily for me the dwarf orange bull bear not bull bear bull borb shares uh Oh my god! Um... Why did we lose? We lost a purple. I think that was... Maybe a white, a blue, and a yellow? What do I even... Go into the white candy pop bug now? Oh my god. Oh my god! Okay. Can you not do that please and thank you all right let's have our purple pikmin ready because this guy is not going to give us too much time once he gets up really okay there's still one boldman that didn't get thrown in ah Oh my god. This cave is... This cave is my least favorite. Is this even safe? I wouldn't doubt that there's another boulder. Yep. Okay. I didn't get any readings from that other room, so... Okay. Oh, of course. Great. Still gotta worry about boulders and stuff. Oh my god. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, thank God there weren't any really deadly boulders. I wouldn't be surprised if there is a carrying trap here. Okay, no. Okay. Cool. This one totally is trapped, though. As soon as you pick it up. No? Okay. Yes, that guy is guarding the exit. Oh my god! If the item didn't... Oh my god. This cave is stupid. I only have 95 real Pikmin to my name. <laughs> so stupid. Oh my gosh. Alright, get it to here. I'm gonna have Olimar run around here. Oh, uh, okay. He's gonna... Spouse alert, whatever, I don't care. Um, that's everything. I don't care. I'm just gonna get over here and delve deeper. Don't care. This should be the final floor. Either final floor or rest area. I'm hoping rest area. Like, I'd love this to be, uh, it's the final floor. But the reason I say I would love this to be rest area is in hopes of Queen Candy Pop Buds, but I guess not. Well, we have more purples and whites than we did going in, but not really by much, so I don't know how useful that is. Then, we also have the dilemma of... We lost a good chunk of Pikmin. Can I get Pikmin up there? Yes, I can. Unfortunately, I don't think purple Pikmin are gonna reach, but I'm gonna try. Like, purple Pikmin are the ones I have the least faith in for this. Unfortunately, if those, uh... We can't... We can... Unfortunately, also, we can't whistle up there. As if we did... Okay, we're throwing them up there for one very specific reason. Unfortunately, Bulbarb Larva, um... Maybe super weak and die instantly, but in Pikmin 2, they're also super unfair. Um, they will eat Pikmin before they end up dying. Um... Can you just take them out? Thanks. Okay. So, the reason that I threw the Pikmin up here is because this boss fight, I think, is the worst. Um, she will summon, um, babies. I say summon. Um, she will summon babies, and they will make their way to attack you. They die instantly, but they will eat your Pikmin before you can really do much of anything about it. There goes my blue, and there's not much I could do. They're just gonna eat your Pikmin left and right. They will eat Pikmin before they can, uh, at least we're losing blues, mostly. Okay. Oh my god, no, 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 no. No, 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 no! Oh my god. Unfortunately, the purple Pikmin don't do their gravitational wave thing in this game. No, no, no. Okay. 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 
How many Pikmin are we sitting at? Still making out with more than we came in with for purple and white, but the other guy is not so much. So stupid. Okay. Luckily, we've thinned the crowd of babies, so any new one she makes should just instantly be crushed. But, like, if you walk up that path without throwing your Pikmin up the ledge, it is brutal to get past the swarm of babies. And then you have to attack her from behind where the babies actually pop out, making it even harder. So throwing up them up that ledge is the way to go, but the big problem lies with just... The babies in this game are unfair, at least in, like, you know... It's not just if they get something in their mouth, they'll uh, eat it before they actually die. Um, it's straight up, if they start their biting animation in this game, they will eat before they die. Um, you know, uh, versus in Pikmin 4, where it's only if they get something in their mouth that they'll be able to really eat it. You have a lot more of a chance to save your Pikmin, but they eat really fast. Even still, at least there's a chance in Pikmin 4. In this game, there's no such chance, and it just sucks. Oh my god. Just die. Oh. Yeah. Like, the baby fight and... Oh my god, please don't interrupt me. I'm trying not to die. Or trying not to get any of my Pikmin killed. Oh my god, please. Please. Oh my god. If you die, I don't care. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's all grab everything we can. Alright. Whatever. Let's stand by the exit. Like, in Pikmin 4, at least you have the Rock Pikmin, which... The Rock Pikmin are great for Empress Bulblax. No matter what fight it is, Rock Pikmin are good. Great, excellent, the only Pikmin you should bring with you into the fight. Because the thing is, is since Rock Pikmin do contact damage, it means that the babies who die in one hit will basically die before they can eat any Rock Pikmin, assuming you bring enough to thin out a massive herd, you know. And the Rock Pikmin are immune to being crushed by the Empress, you know. All around, great choice for the Empress fight in Pikmin 4, you know. In this game, there's, like, nothing. And the purple Pikmin don't even have their shockwave. I would argue that Pikmin 4 purples are more powerful than Pikmin 2 purples. Because while Pikmin 2 purples deal 20 damage, Pikmin 4 purples have a shockwave. And will always do impact damage to enemies. Anyway, I guess that's everything. So, let's get out of here. Please, get me out of here. Oh my god. Uh, cave complete 23 deaths um not good but that's a cave complete so all right um okay let's Put everyone away, just for safety. Um, and I guess we'll see if we went up in numbers or not at the end of the day. Um, okay. I wasn't planning on recording any more parts this, tonight anyway. Um, simply because I'm not really feeling it mentally. Uh, and now I'm definitely not feeling it mentally. Uh, but maybe what I do is I do some off camera, just grinding of purple and white Pikmin, um, and Pikmin numbers in general in between this part and the next one. I think that's what I'll do, but for now, I think I'll, but for now, I think I'll end the day. Um, we completed the area, I believe, so... Should see that pop up. Um, we earned a whole lot. I want to look at the Pikmin. 
We went down in red, went down in yellow, went down in blue, but went up in white and purple. So, we overall went down. Lost 21 to battle, 3 to electricity, 5 to explosion. What the hell is this day? Who's mailing us? Omar, you've worked hard. Special bonus. Yeah. Anyways, as I was saying, but for now, my name has been and will be tomorrow and the day after that 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 and I'll never escape it because it'll always be pun food. Honestly, I am really not impressed with how this part went. 